Most of the bakers are attempting the classic. Oh, no, go away. Close. Yannix. There we go. And remembering to switch to the public. There we go. It says the do is the number one. Of course it does. Refresh. There we go. Good. So it's good. There. Oh, I know what's missing. Pardon the moving camera. Because we're not doing handles today. Kitty, I'm so sorry. I think I managed to step on both front paws individually. Good morning, everybody. Oh, kitten, I'm sorry. Now, now you're just totally not going to. I stepped on both like front paws. Good morning. Oh, poor kitty. She managed to get one paw under either of my feet. <laughs> she did, did the same thing I did the other day. I'm sorry, it's okay. See? Yeah, there we go. Let me pet you. Yeah, little girl. My apologies. <laughs> oh, now, now she's like, you're wearing a warm sweater. <laughs> Do you want back in the house now? <laughs> Is it cold out here? Oh, it's up to 46. You want it out here with us? It's snowing outside right now. Yeah. Good morning, camera. Come on, Linda, Blake, and Lord. Hello. Maybe throwing fingers this morning. Ah. Oh, that's a bit of a break. Goodness. Oh, yes. Do we have time? a message on the... No, it's the start message. Okay. I did not need to exit this when your door shut there, King. And... Wire tool. There it is. Wire tool. Is it in the 30s outside right now? We're going to catch you a cup. Good morning and of... happy birthday. I'm going to cut off a couple of beaker-sized pieces to start with. I know your water is not even warm yet. I have not put my hands in that water. Oh, whatever not. It's oh. refrigerator temperature water. Okay. Now, Tim and Beth Roseman. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. This piece. Uh, it's at 30. I'll make it a uh, beaker <laughs> in a mini. We need minis. Yes, we've got the. Mow. In the back thing you can hear it. Mix. It is now five months old. Old enough to come out here. Mix? I wouldn't try. Okay. She's got the, she's on top of the stack to see where we're going. Let me twist her and put it out. Let me twist her and put it out. Oh, she's all the way up there. There is. Don't fall, sweetie. Why did you jump down? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh my goodness. Now she's sticking her head in the cups that you were handling the other day. So okay. okay. So you cannot pieces. climb the blocks. No, you can't. Do you want a shoulder? Oh, you look like I have a candle that you need to Oh, oh dear. Well, we were kind of cold and desperate to go back inside. Shoulder? There we go. Oh no, it was a highway. I don't want to touch these cups. Yeah. Ah. I think for the like second time ever, we've had the, the little space heater up on high. Yep. Which really sucks. I could probably turn it back down there because mm. we've taken the edge off of in here. Yeah. I'll turn it so down to the zone. Like, yeah. There we go. So it just takes so much electricity. It chugs the power. Yeah. 
I'm on water, and with the lack of events right now, we can't afford to um, expend too much money on Power silly things like heat. Yeah. I'm trying to tip this so I can get more warm water in here. Oh, oh my. Nope, suction. You're going to have to scoop. Here. Here. Um, and you can always scoop some goop out into this. I want to get my hand well away from that, though. Yeah. Hmm. What we're going to start with this next week is running one special on our website a week. To help try to um, mitigate. mitigate some of that lost event revenue because it's our only income. I was squeezing the air out from below, which is sucking some of the really wet stuff down. Somebody's decided that she wants to hang out where it's warmer. James Randolph. Good morning. Yes, because Nix is one of those that likes shoulders. Okay, there we go. And I will set that aside now. That's really cold weather. Yes. yes. It's it like is. sticking your hand in refrigerated water. Yeah, we're not trying to do an ice bucket challenge. No, I, well, I'm, I'm not that fond of cold. It makes your joints hurt. Oh, yeah, we went for a walk this morning in the snow. It's lovely. It was lovely. Oh, my need, not cold. To not, my need to not like that. It hurt. There we go. Now you have hot water in there. Yeah. I can turn this on. First, a couple now, minis. If there's anything people would like to see me throw, just comment. Yep. And in addition to being up on Facebook, if you prefer a different platform, you can watch um, the same exact stream. On Twitch or YouTube. Yeah. And those comments should all come up on the screen there. I realize I've not... Um, Is the free software called Restream? Yeah, it's a web service. That's yeah. not software. Software. The software that we use to do the streaming is OBS. OBS, I yes. I could not remember what it was called the other day. Because I was trying to type it in. To, you know, no, which is other also people who want to stream. It's free. It's free software. It's relatively easy to use. Yeah. And there are a lot of tutorials on how to use it out there. And, you know, if you have a laptop which has a... Um, Webcam. Webcam. Or you just have... We you have get a little really $20 webcam. Oh, one of the two we've had for well over a decade. Yeah. It doesn't take anything fancy. No. The one that's over a decade old in um doesn't have the best resolution. It's the one that um is a small image up in the corner because... It's got maybe half of the pixels that the one that, um, that has a this yeah we're holding it onto this tripod here. It's actually a hair tie. It's not complex. And then we found in a drawer huh. an old USB extender cable. It was meant for like a mouse dongle so you could get to it from on top of your desk. And that's what's making the cord long enough to get to the other side. It's not a really big room either. Yes. So. Shoulder? Are you getting cold? Are you getting the cold kick? You're Actually, you're having fur. It's really warm. <laughs> She's running around a lot, so she's going to be keeping her um, temperature up. And I mean, if she wants to, I know she can run up my back. Yeah. 
she did that earlier when she wanted to see what I was doing with the um, washing machine. Yeah. What you doing? I just hope that there isn't too much bloodshed come, you know, summertime when she tries to do that. Well, she'll be bigger by then, and hopefully she will... Um, only do it maybe once or twice. Yeah, but she does um, make a distinct reaction when it comes to what she does when humans scream in pain. <laughs> don't bite the um, don't arch, bite of, the arch of the foot. She did that when I was in bed once. Woke me oh, up. I bet it did. She's never done that again. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Well, Kirsten, Marion Harris, Lisa Mansfield, Andrew Scott. Thank you for coming and watching this morning. Yes. For the first one, we offer um, for a special. I do believe we talked about doing uh, the macabre dancer series. Yeah. The happy dancing skeletons. And be 15% off. And because oh, we don't go in for the expensive cart system, it's order one and we will apply the 15% uh, discount after ordering. Yeah. It'll be profits as a refund for the order. Because as, you know, we're going to not have any events. Hence, no income for the next two months. Yeah. We have one of those, um, one of the two pieces that we're doing is replica the artifacts that were brought, brought to us. We could do one of those because one of them is stoneware color. Okay. And the other one is the red. Oh, okay. So I will perhaps the you. cat could be hired to do some reproduction <laughs> with tiles with paw prints. We could do tiles oh, with paw prints. Mom, she's watching you now. Oh, this is the first time she's seen the um wheel going. Sweetie, don't don't jump into the wheel head. Oh, she she's trying to figure out how to step over there. I could sit her on the top of your other bucket. The one with the lid. Good. No, don't dive bomb her from above. Come here, sweetie. See, you could stand right there. Whoops! It's no. dirty. <laughs> Sarah, that was dirty. But she's yeah, like, do tiles and have her walk across the tiles. She's starting to have enough mass. Yeah. Because I, she's. Definitely the other that. ones did that, but yeah, yeah, our two older kitties died this winter, so one last summer and one this winter. I think Nix might be over six pounds at this point. Hey, and considering Desi was never much over seven. Oh my goodness, cat. We're going to have a very quick current cat. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's just a little too far. Oh, she'd buy one. Tiles? Ah, here we go. Nix. Yes, I'm making it easier for the cat. Lay a board down over the gap. Nixie, where'd you go? She's over there now. Come here. Come here, Nix. Come here. Yes, Good tiles. Girl. I'll have to do some proper tiles. Check it out. And I broke a button off the sweater. I'll put it in the pocket. There Another we go. Button oh. off of this sweater. <laughs> That's water. Actually, it's where she's hanging out. Oh, yeah, she's <laughs> slightly. <laughs> You're brave, aren't you? There we go. Oh, I stopped. I was wondering if I... Okay, I think that for a while we may have to have the drawbridge there so she can 
see what's going on. So what shade cup is that going to be? It's a beaker. <laughs> see, it's a beaker. Yes, when she loses track of what she's doing, that is the default cup shape. Okay, sweetie. See. You want warm shoulder? There we go. Yeah, because if nothing else, we could do basically the the coaster size tiles. Yeah. With top prints. We'll get the and now she's around the other side. She is just not, she is intrigued by the, oh, I'm spinning. <laughs> oh, this is highly amusing. Let's see. Get the image of what you need. Image you can call it that. <laughs> yes. Oh, I, I think I see something there. Oh, these are the uh, um, Facebook oh, messages so popping up over there. Oh, okay. Also means that people, no matter what the uh, That's kind of cool. venue, they've would, actually been improving it. Yes. Which it's is just nice. that there's a slight delay between seeing it live in Facebook and seeing it up on the screen. Theodore Scott. And trick the clip. No, no. I suppose we'll have to make some tiles and have the cat step on them. And which is not that. Yeah, which shouldn't be too hard. She's. Allow me to shrink the gigantic image. Because, yes, I'm adding things to the screen via the Elise the program. Get smaller, you get smaller, you get smaller. There. Yeah, finally, get it small enough. So, that'll be the, it's a rather basic bowl shape. Yeah. Um, I don't think that the piece of clay you've got right now will be large enough because I also have a version of it with the ruler across, which, well, I can't, well, I'm going to close that image. I think I may have closed that image. Open up that image. It is seven and three quarters inches across. No, this one is not going to be big no. enough. Because for that, you're going to be more than a 30 ounce piece. <laughs> and she's in there watching again, isn't she? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she is so intrigued. I can do it. You're yeah. snipping the edge of the wheat. Oh. I think she bumped her nose on the edge of the wheel head. She did. <laughs> She's sniffing the edge. Oh, oh you are so cute, Nix. Jordy's <laughs> ah. watching. Hello. I'll get you the. Where do I need the wire to go now? There. There it is. So I'm thinking of the 30 to 35 ounces? Yeah. Because it doesn't, it also doesn't look like this. <laughs> okay. None of her past cats have been this. Oh, she's, <laughs> she has her front paw on the wheel. <laughs> None of our past cats have been this intrigued. Like, yeah. Okay, they were adults when we got into doing the business full time versus five and a half month old kitten experiencing the wheel. Jay Palmer's no <laughs> into reaching out and touching the clay. I don't know. 
Uh, this is. It's not. It's not going to be seven and three quarters inches, but that's right. Basic aspect ratio. Yeah. <laughs> you got it on your paw. <laughs> She's reaching out. And there may be a scratch or a line of texture on the outside of the bowl now. It's hard to tell. <laughs> you can't stand on a spinning surface. Is this see? the first time? Yes, it's the first time she's seen the pottery wheel. The wheel. So it is the first time she's gotten to see it in motion. Last time we were out here was her first time out here at all, and she got to experience this. We were just, you know, making handles, and she was wandering around the room, checking out all the corners. Today she gets to see this in action, and she is fascinated. No. Now, what's the worst we have to do? Give the kid the bath? She jumps each time you whack it down with a mirror. There was the pal print almost, yes. I'm sure they'll get to the point where there will be pal prints. Yeah, watching her. She is very intrigued. She was, she was trying to touch it. Yes, fresh clay water. Following the grand tradition of drinking it. It's your paw, yeah, dirty. She does have clay on her paw now. She has this clay on her nose. Are you going to want to throw more than one piece that shape size? We'll see how this one comes out. Okay. Because this bag is a little firmer. Yeah. Not so friendly. She's hitting it with her paw tip. You gonna help? You <laughs> helping? <laughs> oh dear. She's like, I can't stand on it. It's moving. <laughs> She's helping. <laughs> on it, so she's putting hers on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's an opening now, huh? <laughs> oh, she's licking her lips off. <laughs> she got it on her face. I I'm just waiting for the moment you end up with a cat wrapped around the clay. Mm -hmm. uh, the worst case scenario, we give her a bath. Yeah. On purpose rather than her falling into the tub. Yeah. Is this piece here? Oh, that piece can be a bit. Yes. Oh, there's a lump sitting. There's a, there's a air bubble. A really oh. nasty air bubble. Not nice. Well, I did cut you off another piece. And my guess is the piece that we're modeling this one after, the reason why it looks more, it looks as yellow as it does is probably due to the old varnish that we could see on the piece in person. Yeah. And someone actually brought this piece to us and asked us to replicate replicate it, make a version that they could use use at events versus have on the shelf at home. Because mm -hmm. that's, that's, you know, no. that's an artifact of some kind. Yeah. Oh, you've got dirty feet. <laughs> You're going to be clay covered up to the elbows, sweetie. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, there we go. Now it's stopped. Can you put your paw on the inside? <laughs> Those little dirty feet. Oh. I have a paw print on the side. No, there's a paw print on the back. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it has a spout now. <laughs> Juliana Gold, Bridget Mullen, oh. Trey Valentino. Yeah. I know. Uh, I can, I can see, see it. it. I can see it now. A product line of pieces made in collaboration with the cat. 
You could charge extra. <laughs> Actually, there have been some pieces in the past. Um, Desi was infinite for um, leaving paw prints behind on specifically mug handles. Oh, thank you. You just Oh, splatter. yeah, I can see the splatter. On oh, my glasses. And, yeah, just letting people know right now the clay will not hurt the kitten. It doesn't matter if she's eating it. The other one's going to live to 16 and a half. The other one lived to 17 and a half. And their favorite so. source of water in the house was clay. Desi was um, famous for, we'd be making um, a batch of candles and we'd let them dry overnight under a, a layer of plastic because they weren't going to be the right consistency until the next day. And she would walk across the plastic on top of the um, handles. She, she walked across plates. Across you plates, it. walked across tiles. I think that the that batch of tiles that we did, I think she we may have encouraged her to run across. We encouraged both of them. I encouraged both of them. The um that particular set of tiles was she's in here, but oh my goodness, your kitty. Your kitty is adorable. Is this a first she was so curious. Yes, she, this is her first time getting to see the wheel in action. <laughs> and now she's across the room cleaning her um front paws. And discovering new chairs to scratch at. Yeah, but this is where old chairs go to old die. Old chairs come to die out here in the studio. So you're not going to buy new chairs for Oh, okay. Them. The ones where the vinyl is starting to crack. Or if the, the go. padding is gone. I left it. the paw print. Okay, cool. Mix this first paw print. Yeah, you can just see the edge of the paw, the, the pad of the paw in the middle there. Yeah. It has a spout. <laughs> that bowl has a spout. The thing is, is there are some patterns from that era, the one with the bowl on the screen is from, that are sort of cat-like. I can find one of those from that bowl. Yes. I think that the interior of that bowl is actually whitewashed. And Turner and Amanda Stevens. I think the interior has been had the white coating. But I think it looks yellow because of varnish. Mm. I think part of it was. I think it was in pieces and it got and put it, back it together. Would, yeah, because you can see the in person in some of the other pictures that we took of it. You can see the restoration lines. Yeah. And then they tried to age the restoration lines. That never. It doesn't look right. It really doesn't look right. It's the reason why in museums the restorations are always very flat blocks of color. They don't try to make things look right. Yeah. They don't try to hide the damage, which is something they used to do. Yeah. <laughs> now she's underneath. Yes, now she's under the wheel. But yeah. She's got clay pattern on her that's kind of reminiscent of you after doing the, a day of throwing. It's kind of up to about <laughs> up the to elbows. the elbows. Yeah. Because there's one point where she was reaching across into the pole on that side of the bowl. Mm hmm. And she um, got it along your her, her shoulder there. <laughs> and it's on the back of her head. Yeah, little spatters. Ooh, there's a spray. <laughs> It's moving. You can't stand on it. So that one will be another bowl size piece. <laughs> Maybe she's got some on the clay. She's got some clay on her ear too. Look at it this way. She's got the light colored markings on her uh, home fur already. Are you helping, Nix? Thank you, my helper. <laughs> oh. Ugh. It's cold and wet. And oh my goodness, her <laughs> paw pads are not normally orange. The clay dust on the floor is kind of warmer. We so may it's kind of want orange. to um, attempt to wipe her paws down before we go back inside. Carpet. Yeah. I don't think we'll be replacing the carpet this year. No. Before all went down with all 
coronavirus and getting the, um, a lot of events can canceled. We did have, we were planning to rip out carpet over a good portion of the house. And or at clean. least the family room. Or at least the family room. It's just, there's so many patches of underglaze already in the carpet. Cat. And it's not even here. Yeah, kittens and um, knocking things over. And just random spills. Or your little pot of, um, your little micro palette of underglaze goes off the edge. Face down, of course. In the door that we go into after and here. It goes into the living room um, with carpet. Yes. I hate carpet, but there's nothing we can do about it right now. Nope. Nope, that's going to have to wait until um, when we all recover from this yeah. um, economic downturn. Yes. It's another mini piece because it's just a small piece sticking up on Because the this is what we do for a living. We don't have another one. Nope, this is our full-time job. We've only been doing it 80 hours a week for over <laughs> 16 years. For the better part of two decades. The, um, yeah. This summer will mark the 17th anniversary of the business. Yeah. This Hunter Westport. You're going to need your... Oh, there it is. Shrink rule. Also, this all I need is 12% shrinkage. And of course, it'd help if I get. Okay, and we need to have two of each. So, if that's a good amount of clay for that, I need to cut you off by another one the same size. You stop it. Oh. See, it does get into my foot paddle, and then it turns when it shouldn't. This is seven inches. Okay. Now I have to turn it back on. Let's see. But yeah, we can. Yeah, nowhere. Ah, oh, there it says. Yeah, nowhere near as reliant on events as you guys. The Emerald City being canceled. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure that was a big hit because that's a big event. That's a big event. You see lots of people. Okay. Um, I'm about to get jumped on. I was gonna say so you can um. The slant of the walls, you can go out by maybe about five degrees. Yeah. I was just trying to get them up even. Yeah. I was just getting my head down to um, see side view. Mind you, now I will, um, thanks to Eleanor, I will not be able to think about the wire tool. It's just, just you know, simple length of wire with... It's a garage. <laughs> I will not be able to think of it as anything other than a garage. Thank you, Eleanor. Oh, that's funny. And it's also, oh my god, yes, it is. It is. I've never it thought really of it as a garage. You're garroting the clay. That's just, you know, it's the wire cutter. It's what I've always heard it as. Because it's wire shaped and you use it to cut the clay. Probably the right size piece of clay. Yeah. And it's fine now. Okay, cool. I'll cut you off two more pieces that size so we can pick the two that are better matched. Yeah. So, and avoid the mouth of the kitten. What I probably have to do is pick this thing apart and get the dust oh, out of it. We were good. We'd ask Christopher to do that. We just have to remind him. Just not yeah. today because it's his birthday. It's his birthday. We're not going to ask him to do a home. Uh, um, this Emerald City a show you are just you you're display your... No. No. We're thinking about doing we're that. We're thinking about next... branching out to columns in the next couple of years because we now live in an area much closer. Yeah, because that uh, would be... In... Obviously, not this year. Not this year. Not this year. Because we... Had, Port, um, with having moved up to Washington, we have, we have um, within a easy drive of a lot more events. So we're changing over what it is that we um, go to. Go to. Yeah, I have a lot of money tied up in it, but just for once, I'm kind of glad I don't do art as a full time job. What always, always is doing a full time artist is. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, enough of that rather <laughs> depressing <laughs> oh. topic. On a brighter note, 
Do you have any of the red blood Greek, Greek stuff with the contributions from the chat? I'll buy one. Um, we don't yet, but we have, um, we have to make more of them. And this is Nix's, um, only second time out. So, yeah, stuff. and we can encourage her to, uh, make contributions to the pottery, too. Yes. Because <laughs> it could always take, you know, do the, the Kylix, nice wide, flat bowl shape. Draw. <laughs> yeah, because we can do that. Because what it could do is basically hold her around her tummy and get her to put her front feet down. Yeah. Not that I've, you know, done this with Leave my wire tool alone. <laughs> no hurry. I yeah. have enough time, uh, enough problems losing this as it is. Because you little mix. What's her big idea? Young oh. cat. You can. And with. Oh, there's one. Oh, it's just coming out. Yeah, it's just coming out over there. She says, no hurry. Yeah. With her being a young cat, she's very curious. And Bengals are trainable. Yes. And about the only breed of cat we're not allergic to. Yes. There's there's multiple reasons why uh, we have to say hey on the hand. It's making the skin feel better. Or it says your cat is very cute. Thank you. The five five and a half month old bangle. And yes, um they're very trainable. She's already learning things like stay, which she's very good at. Yeah. Because most cats will try to chase you through doorways. We've managed to teach her stay, in which case she'll just stand there frozen and watching us. Hey. And she she's also very loves fetch. And apparently the cool temperatures out here are not phasing her. So now we've yeah, I was thinking that might be the case because the where we got her from. Yeah. This Norsha Tacoma and she has indoor outdoor um cattery. Yeah. Because yeah. she has the So um the breeder we got her from there um cattery has um a heated part of each enclosure and an outdoor part of each enclosure. Oh, we jump across the wheel. What did she knock down? Just a tool. Okay. I picked it up. Um, it that, I can't see that causing any pr problems. <laughs> oh, the leaping across? Uh, Lisa Olson. Or Lisa. I can't tell from that. Ilsa. Ilsa. Looking at, I think it's I-L, which because of the font, they look really similar. And it's small. Yes. <laughs> and she's watching uh, the feed on an old phone because, again, tech, old chairs, workshop. Old phone. Phone? Yeah, Just I don't think we've ever had more than, since we started getting smartphones, I don't think a single one of them has actually died. No, I think there's one out of the last 12 years. Yeah. Where you get a new phone. Phone once every four years. Yeah, because we get we get better at oh, home. We get higher in phones. So that because they that's what we use to run credit cards on. Yeah. And people, do you really think I'd have the um fancy go faster racing stripe not Apple phone? Because we don't get on with Apple technologies, yeah. and it would it would not agree with the other um. Wanted right. to integrate with the other hardware. We have. Yeah. When it comes to my antipathy towards Mac of any kind, I blame the early computers I dealt with in school. Well, you know why the schools had apples, right? Yeah, because they gave them to the schools free. It's the reason why they're called Apple. They were marketing them to the schools. So it's kind of cool. Yeah, they were hoping to get market share by donating. training children to use their hardware. Yeah. But at the same point in time, I had access to PCs at home. So I went, and the PCs at home were not monochrome. Because the uh, um, computer. Hello, kitten. Hi. No, you're not. I am part of the jungle gym, apparently. Hello. <laughs> she bumped me in the arm, got my attention, so I turned, then leapt from the chair to my shoulder to the shelf behind me. 
Yes. I'm talking about you. Yeah. Well, not quite big enough yet. Not the monitors. Here. There we go. Yes, present cat butt to the camera. Very good there, Jamie. And she's also very much one for uh, um shoulder sitting. Mind you, if she gets bigger, this is gonna be harder on the human. Well, so she won't fit so well. No. Yeah, that's the top of my head. Gonna go back down there and check out the bowl some more? Okay. There. Go. Uh, there was clay on your hand and you got it on your nose? Not the first time. Nope. At least you didn't get it on your glasses this time? Nix, do not get up onto the shelf with the wet pottery. Not this time. Back. There we go. Oh, it's because I'm wearing the hood and the hat. She's like, is this viable to sit on? Then you're stuck. Good morning. I know, I'm warmer than the floor, so that's why I'm good to sit on. It's gotten up to a whole 50 degrees out here now. Yeah. When we turned on the heater to warm things up to come out, it was 38. Oh, did the, did the door to your box get closed? There you go. I can go back in there. And not to say that she is very trainable. We brought her out here once using her carrier. The older, the older cats, the ones that passed away, we would just carry them um, in our arms or on our shoulders because they were sedate. They were old, they were old girls. So her, rather than ca just carrying her on the shoulder, we put her in the carrier. And after that first time coming out here and going back in using the carrier, she's home at least a couple times a day. She'll dash into her carrier by the door and then look out at it. It's going, so you can carry me now? We're going to go out there again? It's been, it's been 32 years, years since I've thrown pottery. This makes me wonder how much I remember. The muscle memory would still probably be there. Just take a little bit of practice to get and the muscles to actually... Yeah. You discover the muscles that... Haven't you been used for anything don't, else? Yeah. Don't have that same sort of structure to them anymore. Yeah. Since starting to do the business full time, she's put on eight inches of muscle around the um, upper body. Yeah. Around the torso. Yeah, which can say things don't fit. Let's work. Warming up out there and seeing the big chunks of snow fall off of the magnolia tree. Oh, cool. So, like, there's snow somewhat to nine. That'd be cool. Maybe we'll have have even more snow on the ground. That would be neat. Yeah, I was just thinking, it's been about um, it's been that long for me, too. <laughs> Not that I've ever been, in, been this good. Huh, throwing. Yeah. Have to do is to um, bring the wheel to an event that has electricity and a place that they're willing to get messy. Yeah, and I could do, do lessons. Do lessons. Let people try it out. So now, how about you'd probably need like a twelve by twelve chart. Yeah, because Just so. checking the fallout range. And that's with you. Um, some when <laughs> people are learning, the clay might actually go further. But if you, if it was like at a fairgrounds, you could be outside. Yes, with electric with a long extension with cord with a heavy duty extension cord. Yeah. Well, it takes twelve hours. Yes. You need at very least. Uh, an extension cord that would carry 15, if not 20, depending on the length. Well, you just Probably get one of 20. those Hello. heavy duty outdoor <laughs> ones. We've used that on a number of occasions. I'm glad I was wearing a heavy sweater. Okay. Uh, Madison and Hello. And yes, that was the cat just running up my uh, hog. After all, she's a treat cat. Right? Lessons would be fun. Yeah. Yes. It's fun to do art stuff. It is interesting how certain activities have very specific muscle groups, isn't it? 
Archery is like that too. There's no exercise in the gym that will get you the exact combination of muscle movements, although several separate ones will help. So I believe that would need to be learned. Yeah, that and if you're learning from a different person in the home. Or using a different size. wheel. Yeah. I have three wheels. We eventually want to do something where we can do lessons. Yeah, which is right now is not the time to get that started. I know, not so much. Hi. Is it warmer up on my shoulder? What do you like sniffing? Because, well, I used to teach this in a middle school. It was the teacher's aid. The teacher didn't know how to do it, so I was the one actually doing the lessons. And she would talk about it, and now she will, um... Do the demo. Demo. Nobody ever caught on that it was because she you didn't know how to do it. Yeah, are you starting to... Is the cold start, starting to finally soak into the fur? Oh, and she's got clay on her nose. And her ears, and her paws. Oh yeah, her fine paws are cold. Oh, poor kitty. But since I'm not sitting down, she she's like, ah, oh, he doesn't need to sit down for me to sit on them. I can climb. Yep. Huh. Hey, Shane. Oh. How's it going today? Like into this water. Mm. Smooth up the surface. Oh, I keep moving and she keeps having to readjust so she can watch what you're doing. Mm -hmm. This is going to be slightly awkward when I need to have more clay, though. Oh, that was very good. It's a little chunk. Oh, meh. There we go. And different wheels or different mechanics when it comes to throwing. Because they just, they treat the clay differently. Let's make sure this one's the right size. Yes, it is. I remember your uh, um, like it. learning curve when you first started using this electric wheel. Uh, yeah, it was different. And you had issues with it spinning the clay too far out. Yeah. Because two more other wheel I well, I have another electric wheel, then I have a kick wheel. It's yes. a motorized kick wheel. Well, I know I moved. Which I'm you sit sitting well, over it. Over it. And you have the flywheel. And you really don't want to do that one barefoot. Do you want into the sweater? No? Did you sense it on the shoulder? I know. You don't feel so well on my shoulder as you did when you were younger. Yeah. Got a warm muffle on the side of my face. Anybody wants to see me throw a specific shape or something, just comment. I'm glad to do it. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm done with those bowls. Yes. Well, this is more fun, but I suppose <laughs> I shake it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Like laundry. Ugh. Yes. Yeah, no problem. Oh, oh thanks. Thanks for um, joining. Yeah. And, oh, uh, yeah, we got laundry going before we came out here. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of things are more fun than laundry. <laughs> yes. And it's with all the people who um, aren't used to working from home and watching their commentary about they didn't think it would be as stressful as it was or they're having issues with stopping doing work in the evening and getting on to normal home life. Yeah, because there's nothing on. There, yeah, because there, it's a new thing to them. And honestly, yeah, you, there's times where we're trying to relax and we're like, oh, but there's a piece of pottery right there. We'll pick it up and start painting on it or drawing on it without really realizing that we were supposed to be relaxing and we just got back to work. Yeah. yeah. Are your paws getting warmer now, sweetie? What's your favorite thing to throw? That's the question up on the screen there. Oh, what's my favorite thing? I don't know. Is yeah. your favorite thing to throw something new? I like, to, I like doing new things. The Greek things are a lot of fun.
because it's experimental like archaeology because how did they make this? Figuring out the puzzle of how to make it. After I've made a dozen or so of them, there are ones that get old and other shapes never do. I can just make it boring sometimes to throw cups, but if I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. It comes out the shape in our that she's throwing right, right now. now. Kind of like this. That's so the I don't default even shape. have to look at what I'm doing. But that's practice. But, you know, is trying new things. Also, the Greek pieces are a lot of fun. There are some shapes that are very mechanical to do, um, but to use a, um, a metaphor from a different um, media. It's like you have paintings that are, say, photorealistic, or paintings that are very stylized, and you have the paintings whose brush strokes are very painterly. Where you're working with the flow of the materials and the um, and the, of the brushes. Yeah, I think the Greek one, Greek shapes, tend to fall into that category because you have these big elaborate shapes. Yeah, sometimes they're just pushing. It's like they're pushing the clay as far as it can go, getting as extreme as they can go. And it's fun trying to take the piece apart to see how it had to have been constructed. How oh, did they because do that? the Because most of those large pieces were not done in, as one piece. No. They were, um... There's giant and four. Nobody's arms are that long. And also the ones that have the sharp angles. The those ones are, with, are the ones with the really, really small bases and the really, really t um, small openings. The really, really small bases were thrown separately thrown and added. Yeah. The laws of physics say, because, <laughs> you know, if I were to make this one really, really small, whoop, see what happens? what happens. And now it's dead. Then it's kind of like, can I? Oh, are you oh, going to? Well, look at this. Oh, wow, that one had a giant sparkle on the bottom. It had a, had a ring right there. And if I'm careful. Are you really going to be able to resurrect that piece? I don't know. Let's see. Because I was just and this making a call, point. And this is what you call a skilled maneuver. Oh my goodness. I was able to press it back down onto the bag. And there, there's the, the people who will go... Well, if, it, if the piece comes off like that, you should just scrap it. But yeah, but it's kind of fun to see, can I do it? Can you do it? Yeah. And and I should I just have to lose a little bit off the top right here, because it's uneven. Because it's one with yeah. into the block. It tore up the edge on the uh, um, on the things it flew into. There. And when it comes to doing this as full time, um, the amount of time she just oh, saved yeah. by resurrecting the piece, rather than tossing out a piece of clay that would then either be disposed of, or you'd have to go through the effort of going through and recycling it. Yeah. Uh, she says, wow. Thank you. It doesn't always work, by the way. No. There's times where it, there's, there's no saving it. And, and it just goes into the swap bucket. Fun. It's always fun. Just, can I do it? It's one of those kind of things. Somebody is very happily ensconced on my chest. And she's still fascinated by it. Look, her paws were cold. So yes. she climbed up onto the human and settled down. Yeah, I'm just standing here with my arms crossed. And she's sitting on the chest. With clay in her nose. And ears. And but shoulders. it looks really cute oh. on the nose. She'll be a cool person. It's like, thank you. See? Yeah. Lay on that nose. 
most people would just say, oh, well, that piece is garbage and chuck it in the bucket. Chuck it in the bucket. I have a bucket right there that is the, the stuff that comes out of the, um, the gut up lady. Yeah, we slept in too. It was yeah. six thirty ish when we got up. Uh, can't, I can't remember came that once a glock piece goes into the slot bucket, the slot can actually be dried and worked back into the clay. Yes, yes, it can. yes, it can. Or you give it away. We, we um, both of us have not so sturdy wrists, so it's very wearing on us to actually go through the process of wedging up. Wedging up the clay, Why mixing the clay, wedging it up. Expensive to have a pug mill. There is a piece of machinery that will mix and hug, hug the clay, oh, work, get it back down to a workable consistency. But it is five to ten grand. You might as well just buy another car for yeah. the price of one of those. Yeah. So yeah, I've donated Even to schools. Me. I've used it for lessons. If you want to come learn, oh. here, here's free clay. Just wedge it up. Which is its own learning process. Yeah. And you, you know, know what they do? That's what they kind of do in schools, That's too. what I did when I was in middle school. Shane says he's making fibula today. Ah, uh, good. Those fibulas are, really, are cool. Fibulas are popular. Jeez, that, that much. Good. Yeah, they're just... They're are really expensive. Well, they're extra heavy-duty mixers. Yeah. They make um, the mixers that do 100-pound batches of dough for, like, pizza factories look... Windy. Yeah. Oh, they've so, also got to stand up to yeah. massive abrasion. Yeah. Because the the clay she's using right now, um, part of it's part of the clay's um, name is sixty because it's sixty grit sand. In it. Yeah, kind of like sixty grit sandpaper. Oh, this is stand on your hands feeling better now. Yeah, because my hands, the skin from all the washing and the this and the that, my skin is just abraded. And it feels like 60 grit sandpaper. Mm -hmm. And it hurts. It feels like when I've been my hair, the skin feels like it's cracking. Really? Actually, it has started to crack on the, oh. on the on pinky knuckles. knuckle. Mm -hmm. I think there had been a slight cat scratch, but. And it acted as a parting point due to all the hand washing you're having to do. Yeah. And yeah, this is using something where on. Where scratch could have come from. So it's industrial scale, not not small scale, thus the high price on pug mills. Kind of. Yeah. But the pug mills are pug, pug mills are only about like this. Yeah. They're, they're maybe like that big. three, four feet long, but they're extremely specialized equipment. In which case it's really pricey. They charge a premium. Uh, See you later, Shane. Bye. Yeah, get Bye, to work. Shane. Yeah, back to work. Yeah. <laughs> As you can note. But Yes. We actually know him. What Shane does for a living is he makes um, pewter and bronze jewelry. And he search for red gold to be able to find it. We have some of his pieces up on our website. He has his own website as well. Um, he makes cool stuff. Part of the reason why it's up on our website as well is I'm uh, um, the artist that comes up with Oh my goodness, probably at this point ninety-five percent of his um non saying Peter pieces. Yeah. Realize the You're his design. I'm his design at this artist. I've been collaborating with him for over, over a decade. decade. Yeah. I mean, piece of hair gets tickling my nose. <laughs> <laughs> well you didn't tie it up in a bun before you put the hat on. I just put the hat on. Was okay. gonna come cool. out. Oh, like, now I can stretch my back. Yes, my um, ever so stylish knoll bound hat. Yeah. Listen, everybody know where a knoll bound hat <laughs> out to a ceramic. It's comfy. I really like I'm it. It's so comfy. I'm actually wearing a knoll bound hat as well underneath the hood of my vest. Because, yes, I have this, they a were vest on under the sweater. prizes. Yeah. Volunteer raffle years ago at NWO. Okay, I was trying to remember which war it was. Did <laughs> <laughs> you do a little pop up into the air? Woo! Yeah. <laughs> okay, now I've got to. Oh, yeah, I remember where I put my wire tool in my pocket. And you know, pockets. Oh, God, that sweater is so old. Yeah, and he's 
he lost another button today. Thanks. I missed most the buttons. buttons. Yeah, I thought that I think you were in elementary school. Yes. This sweater may well be approaching its third decade. Well, it's acrylic. It's never gonna wear Short out. Short of being some on fire, fire, it's not going anywhere. Okay. Um what else do you want to throw? Hi, um, sweetie. You coming back so, over to the human where it's warm? So what do people like to see me throw? I want ideas. If nothing else, I can cut you off more at home. More bakery things. And you can do the, the not the tall, concave side thing. Yeah, the those are always great. Which is for tall or the... Uh, 20 something. Yeah, I think they're higher 20s. Uh, Kelly oh. Frazier. Oh, no. Now I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> Do you see spots before your eyes? All I see is darkness. <laughs> no, there's no one muffled. Hi. Oh, yes, please. The joke there is, yes, yeah, she has dark fur, but named her Nyx, which is Goddess, Goddess of, the of the Night. Goddess of the Night. Okay, yeah, there so. we go, sweetie. She's got her, her rear end comfortably braced up against my head now. You know what? This is having the cat on the shoulder. It's a fair bit of a, a workout for the abdomen and back. I imagine so, because it's a whole oh, balancing it. Yeah. So you're getting your aerobic workout in after all, huh? Or at least, you know, the core balancing. How about a chalice? Chalice. I okay, can do a so chalice. Two part? Yeah, give me a make it be two part. Because, oh, you could show off the difference between the one part goblets oh. and the two part goblets. Yeah. Brady's the spice of life. I'll cut you off probably a sixteen ounce for the for both stem and cup on the two parter. Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. Here, give me. I run out of spaces. Well, I haven't been putting them on the shelf properly because I've had an impediment. A feline impediment. So uh, I'll throw the, an example of a one part and a two part. Okay, the two pieces of clay there are the 26 to 30 ounce, so that would be a good for um, the one part. Yeah. I know, kitten, I keep moving around. I need the hand. I can't use the wire tool one handed, sweetie. Mm. Mm. I feel like it might be a bit light. Rip off another small piece if you need it. Yeah. Oh, so, and these two pieces are 14 and 15 ounces, respectively. For doom, that there. Just to complete the two part one, we will have to come out tomorrow to assemble it. Yeah. Because there's no way that it's going to dry sufficiently today. No. It may not be till Monday till it's dried out. It's supposed to be the same temperature tomorrow. Oh, uh, yeah, things aren't going to dry. Maybe we'll have to get another chance to walk out in the snow. That was fun this morning. Yeah. We're going for a morning walk. Around yeah. the block. In the snow. No. Wearing Orlando. This is where the morning. magic happens. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because what I'm throwing right now is chalice. So. It's like, put forth the things. You come up with what I'm going to throw next. And that was. So I'm going to throw. She, this is going to be the one part style. Yeah, you can do it. There's two ways of doing it. One is throwing it all in one piece, which is stronger vessel all in all, because it it's one piece. It has a completely different aspect ratio. My, those bangs were close to my face. She yawned. 
Putting a little kitty cat bridge in here so she can check out the wheel. And actually, um, added a palm print to one bowl. Yep. Which that bowl effectively has a spout. Yeah. You're welcome. This is Matt and by the way. I don't have my FDA name on my Facebook. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't what, have my. With us, we are horrible at matching faces with names, but anyways. For us, Facebook's been kind of a commitment to learning some people's other names, whether they go by their SCA name on Facebook or whether they go by their legal name on Facebook. Or a nickname. Yeah. As a result, some people we know have uh, lost one of their other names, and we only know them by the name they use on Facebook. And then there are the rare people that you know that and you can remember the, all their names. Like Shane. Like Shane. Shane, Logan, Ulf, hey you, yes, Red Wolf, Red Wolf. Because, <laughs> yes, he will answer to hey you. Why do you keep sneaking the inside of my mouth? You can see where the this goblet or chalice started off as just a basic cylinder shape. Everything is based oh, off. Of you warmed shape. one side, and now you're going to put your other side up against my face. What I'm doing here is I'm just. Shape see. the. Yes. Oh, with the chalice here. So what I can do. Let me take go out like this. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can oh, change the like shape. <laughs> okay. Oh, she's inside the sweater now? Half of her is. Mm -hmm. Let's see now if I can get the other end. Here we go. Aaron, I'll button it back up around you. How's that? <laughs> Now I have a very lucky sweater. Um, you cool. You have a cool fun. You want your head out? Yeah, you can have your face out. And have the body inside. And this is how you get the fancy yeah. ribbing on the, the base of the cut. It's just your fingers. It's just my fingers. That one came out particularly nice, too. But you see, this one has a, a rounded shape when it comes to here. Because if you made that a sharp shape, it would do something unfriendly, like collapse. Okay. And the next is, the next two pieces will um, end up with slightly more play to begin with. Pull this thing up to this point here. And now, yep. Now she will do two-part construction. Though so that one will not be assembled until later. Yeah. And this would be the base. You know, the two pieces are only an ounce different. I'm going to put the, the bases, the smaller, the two. Okay. And when you're throwing the base in the two part, you're basically throwing it upside oh. down? No, upside down. You're going to do the flute that way? Or the you can do it either way. Okay. But if I do it that way, I'm not having a bottom to it. True. I'm basically throwing a tube. I'm throwing the pedestal which the bowl will sit on right now. And doing the one part construction, basically the base is hollow to the interior of the cup, so it has higher, it is a deceptively high volume. Yeah, and this it will have the opening to the bottom. That's and thus it'll have much smaller total. It'll have capacity. more stem and less body. Kitten finally got tired of sitting on the shoulder and was getting cold wandering around the studio. Well, I know, it's a cold. Yeah, it's, it's cold okay. right now. 
You're inside and the sweater. snow outside. Snow on the roof, snow in the trees, snow on the grass. And so now I've got the kitten inside the sweater. Yeah. Every once in a while, she tucks her head up under my chin. Okay, so now what I can do, I, guess her nose. I can either make the bottom small or the top small. Because I'm going to make something that looks kind of trumpet shaped, I suppose, for yeah. lack of a better word. Yeah, so at this moment, either end of it could be the yeah, because start off with your basic cylinder. And now you'll make that into a step. Yeah, so I either have to make the bottom small or the top small and the bottom big. I can't do it, so I can't do it this way. And then when it, it firms up, I'll just cut it off of the bag. And that'll give you that nice little surface to attach it to the cut part. Yeah. And we're going to have to go out like this. This goes with the... I think she's going to sleep in the sweater. Of... Are you entering sleep mode there, Nick? I don't want to make it too big. So I'm just making, probably oh, cut it off right around there. So down there, it doesn't have to be that terrible. finished. Well, I'm watching it getting narrow there. Guess that's what I'm just. Oh, that's going to have an interesting little gallery towards the foot there to decorate, yeah. depending on how the shape finishes up. So basically, what's currently the lip will become the bottom of the foot of the goblet? Yeah, that'll be the bottom of the goblet. Get the shape. And this allows you to have a much longer stem. And see, that is wow, going to be. And see, is it in the shot? There we go. And that's going to be the it's bottom. Look like. But right now, it needs to dry up right. Yeah. And I'll off with this head kind of thing. Cut it off with about a about an inch up, about an inch up, yeah. inch, inch and a half, whatever, whatever looks right at the time. Yeah. It's like it'll make something the right handle, the one that looks right. Now I'm gonna make the bowl of the chalice. I'm rounding off the little chunk of clay. Smack it down into the bath. Oh. Oh. Ten more work yet? Ten. It could work it. And we do apologize if we uh oh, mangle everybody's name. You're welcome to uh -huh, post a, a phonetic version thereof. Yeah. We know that things are, as they're spelled is not necessarily phonetic. Right? We actually do our business name is Gaelic. Because one time we're looking up to make sure that we were actually pronouncing it correctly. We're kind of shocked that we managed to pick out two fairly phonetic Gaelic words. Which is rare. Yeah. Well, I suppose they don't, neither of the words have any of those GH or DH or BH. I like oh. Likes the longer stems. Okay. Greg oh. Cole's watching. Look at this one. Yeah. I can feel a little chin on my collarbone now. <laughs> she must she must have regained enough warmth to be comfortable now. Yeah. Yeah, people 
collect the longer stems. It can make more with the longer stems. Yeah. It's just, it is a slightly more expensive style because it is... It's got more stages. Yeah. It's more work. Yeah. It's a little more delicate. It looks like your bucket's starting to run more water. Yeah, it is. The reason why after I ran it and I poured some earlier, I got the heat, got it heating again. And then you can either have the rounded kind of globe shape, or you can have the tall, delicate shape of the more of the champagne shape. Yeah. I think that the globy ones are um, personally more appealing. That's just mm -hmm. personal taste. Yeah, a lot of it has to do with just taste. Oh, there we go. I'm trying to shove your face inside the sweater now. I'll pull it up for you, sweetie. Because this I could just I make now have it sleeping globy. Actually, if I stand right here, I'm I can brace my arm on the table. That's a stamp. I know, you like it better when I'm hugging you. Yes. Mm -hmm. With a sweet kid. Get a bit all tuckered out, running around and helping with the pottery. You can make a little bit of a... Oh, that's kind of a cool bit. One of the, um, the special things you'll have to do to that one before you put it on the step. So you have to get it off the bat and round the bottom. I actually have to use the dipping bit for yeah, so trimming the bottom. So next time we'll be um, demonstrating using the dipping grip and trimming the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> well, all the colors, all the tools end up all clay covered, so it's... Yeah, because out of those ribs, you, um, some are yellow, some are blue, some are red. Yeah, and they all end up just clay covered. They end up clay. And with those ribs, it's the different clay, the different colors mean different things, yes? Yes, because the red ones are the softest. They're silicone. How much would you charge for a longer stem chalice once finished? Mm -hmm. Depends on the decoration? Yeah. For a simple decoration, maybe 45 For a more elaborate one, it would go up from there, depending on how elaborate. Well, let's say if it was one of the more Isnick styles, all the flowers, because it could like flow down more the more like the 55 Yeah. Because a lot of it has to do with the... Construction? Construction. And how much surface area you have on the finished piece to decorate. Also, just, you know... It takes more, more work because this is going to have to be trimmed than attached. You want to make sure it's firmly attached because you don't want the stem breaking off from the bowl. That would be sad. And the next one is another like either 26 or 30 ounces. I'm not sure which of those two you used for the, the first demonstration chalice. The one that was sitting right there? I don't remember what I'm going to put them down in. Oh, there's only two ounces of difference between the two. You! No! <laughs> Chase the back ends. There's dust in my foot pedal. Maybe someday I'll actually get to... <sighs> ...doing something about it. Usually what I do is use percussive maintenance. I'll turn it on its side and go... <laughs> ...to try to knock it, it on things. The yeah. dust loose. And it usually works for couple of weeks to a couple of months. Depending but on it's also winter right now, so it's... It's like the foot pedal is ornery or in the winter. Or more specifically, ornery are in temperature extremes. Yeah. Because pottery is a very good environment to work for. Yeah. And one of the reasons for the our room in the first place was to get to a place where we had more shop space. And also, so we were closer to I-5 and not going to win, which kept five. closing in the winter. Yeah. That was so tiresome. It's one of the reasons why we are um, so effective 
at just baseline maintaining enough food in the house for a month at a time. Because well, we lived in boondocks, yeah. shall we say. On the edge of nowhere. Yes. We were literally uh, living on the edge of the city. So that's the edge of the city. I was just thinking of my boyfriend's device painted on a yellow field with a red booster. Oh, that would get classic yeah. one of the, it's a simple design. Yeah, you could do that one for like 45 and then yeah. it'll be, that'll be a big cup, so that'll be good for, yeah, the big hand. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that'd fit nicely. Yeah. After doing this for so long as I think about the shape of things and go, get on to that shape. That's oh, that like, would look good on that shape. <laughs> or sometimes otherwise it's like, Okay, that's going to take some interpretation to get it to fit on that shape. Yeah. Like the... Uh, yeah, warm. The water's nice and warm. Yeah. <laughs> and for our pursuing place in the order, we can um, get to messaging you after the stream is complete. Yeah. We can do that. It's like Garner. Good, good morning. It's still morning. Is it still morning? Uh, yes, it is. Well, when it's overcast, it's harder to tell. It it gets light in the morning and then it stays maybe soft focus light. One for me too. Blue with perched yellow falcon facing left. Yeah, we could yeah. do that. In which case, I will cut off two more pieces of and, similar size. Yeah, um, we'll do those right now. So there's going to be two of those. Okay, now. Lower myself to a position where I'm not going to drop the kitten. Get two more pieces of clay cut off. Yes, I know, sweetie. I'm using my hands. It's terrible. Mm -hmm. Wrap the hand back around the kitten. Oh, what am I doing? I'm not going to drop you. Okay. Oh, you're going to crawl up now. Oh, you warmed up? Oh. Do you have a cat nap, huh? No, she's sitting there and looking. Hmm. Uh, do I have a grumpy kit now? But it's also the wheels moving again. That was great. Now that he's stuck balanced like this. <laughs> so there's the 15 ounce piece. She is happy, isn't she? I have a spot. When you're done, I can crawl back into your sweater. Yeah, here's the 14 ounce. If Eagles is still on, will you be there? Yes, yes we'll we be will. there. For, for the first time in a couple of years, you're not on staff this year. Yeah, I'm not on staff, but I'll be there. Because Eagles is one of my favorite cool. events. You want that in, sweetie? But yeah, here's yeah. hoping. Yeah. Here's hoping that events are back on for May. That's in May, right? It's May. End of. Yes, it's end of May. Oh, great. Now you're going to... Sweetie? Okay. Stephen's watching. Good morning. Now she's in the football carry position. We'll also be at NWR if it's still on. Again, here's hoping. Here's well, hoping. People would be really upset if we weren't that one. Yeah, she's I'm the, the steward. Steward for this year's A and W. Yeah. I can feel her cleaning her paws somewhere under my elbow. I'd be she's really upset if it wasn't on. Yeah. In part, that's our um, business anniversary. Yeah, that'd be really sad. Not to mention that so many of the other wars this year are canceled so far. People are going to be on severe and bank withdrawal. Do you want me to um, cut off pieces with, for say, a third one of those? Yeah. That would pick out the one. better matching of the two? Yeah. 
14. There. At least with her sitting down more of my uh, waist level, I was able to basically rest her on my lap when I crouched down. Mm -hmm. Great. Can I pick up the chalices at ankles? Of course yeah. you can. I can paint advance so you can still have the income during this time. Thank you. We can send you an mm -hmm. PayPal invoice. After the stream's over. Yes. All we need for that is an email address. Yeah. You send it to me. It's not big enough. This is the 15. Now it. Arrgh. The. I'm using. Cat curled up in the crooked left arm, which is. Right. I am left handed. So she basically disabled the stronger hand. She's trying to pull off a bump of clay to make the lock the right way. And this is what it would look like as With a single piece. That same shape. Cut portion. That was down 50%. That one's half the length of the other one. Yeah. If I crouch down, and I can let my arm relax some. Somebody is being a cozy little kitten. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, is the water overflowing from your wash bucket? And I'm like, no, I know what that sound is. That's water in the um, gurgling in the gutters. Gutters, yeah. From the melting snow. <coughs> you. And yeah. The, the ones on this side are the 14 ounce, the ones on this side are the 15 ounce. Okay, so next first. Next? Next. Stems. Stems, okay. I was like, my neck, are you talking the top part or the bottom part? I don't know. The bowl close to the neck. Much like with the uh, Kylix. Yes. But only a slightly different aspect ratio. The same, only really, Dude, really different. different. <laughs> yes. Because, yeah, Kylex are effectively the exact mm. same construction, except they have handles. Ooh, piece of that. The, the same construction style. Yeah. Except it's a, more of a bowl placed on top of a relatively short stem. If, there we go. I was like, I could see that it was skating. Now that we're Okay, this last piece of clay here is 40-ish ounces. Do you want to just throw this all in one piece? Yeah, I could. I could do like okay. a paper or something. Yeah. Okay. Let's settle back down here where I can easily support the cat inside the sweater. Yeah. Oh, it's 54 out here now. It's getting bomb. We've raised it nearly 20 degrees. And it's 54. What we did is we turned on the heater like an hour before we came out here. So that it would not, we wouldn't freeze our little pitties off. Or anything else. Or anything else. What is that sound? Where is your head? Yeah? <laughs> Lose the cat in your sweater? Well, I know where her butt is. I've got her center of mass right here. And it's like, how far around my side has your head gone? It's around back? Uh, more or less even with the arm point. Oh. But that's also the end that keeps moving around more. Yeah. Do you want me to move um, stem one closer so you can see it? Yeah, I'm going to make them a pair. Be a pair yeah. Let's see. I'm walking a really funny angle now. Like there. Blocking anything? No, I'm not blocking anything. You can see the top of it there. Ah. Mm. 
<laughs> Don't attack my side through the sweater, kitten. <laughs> She's like, you sat down. I can rustle around now. Yeah. Actually, what I should do is I should use that second one piece goblet of that shelf. I can keep the stems and the cups, these two piece ones, on the same shelf. Because, huh. yes, we can get a lot more done because there's two of us doing it. One of us is moving around, um, getting clay weighed, getting the pieces put on the shelf in an organized fashion. And the other person stays sitting at the wheel the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's an advanced technique. I was going to ask, do you want to use your shrink rule? Using my fingers. Just using the finger gauge. Well, the interesting part is going to be getting the kitten back out of my sweater to put her in the carry box to get her back you into the house. You the sweater. You need just unbutton the sweater. All I have, no, not just unbutton the sweater, all I have to do is pull my arm away. And she'd start having a support structure. She's there, uh, sitting the wrong way around to, uh, um, to use her as a bagpipe. Yes, yeah, so I've had cats for long enough, and it's like, yeah, so then just wedge the cats. Yeah, you know, if you have the cat's, um, you know, body, and particularly their side between your side and your elbow, you can get them to meow like a bagpipe. Ooh, rattly back. Go. Stop doing that, you <laughs> silly thing. So you're going to throw the um, second. Oh, this one is. That would be the just an even. Less rattly now, but yeah, if you're making the stems, you don't want to rattle that. <laughs> then there are days. Wow, your water is not very water like, is it? It's only that deep. It's only two oh. fingers deep. And look at the viscosity. Yeah. As I said, your water doesn't look very watery. Yeah. When the water gets too viscous, it's not a good thing. No. Other stem. There we go. Oh, we can get out here since you got. Of course, we've been raising the temperature and I've looked at how it's much. Only 69%. I've also looked at how much condensation's on the window. Yeah, but I don't think it'd be a good idea to put. No, it's it's too cold to run the dehumidifier. Yeah, you can't run the dehumidifier when it's below 40. It's above 50 in here now, but it won't maintain that once we turn off the heater. No. No, it won't. Play all center. So when you go about um, cutting the stems off of the bats, are you going to measure them to make sure they're all the same height, or what? You cut them, uh, cut them so they're all the same length. Well, also have to see what how it works when I get to there because got it. They're not all. They the also don't all dry the same. Point. Because if a piece of clay has more water in it, it'll shrink more as the water evaporates. Yeah. So even if you throw some, throw a set of pieces all the exact same height or the exact same shape, you have a chance of them varying in shrinkage rate or settling after you take them off the wheel head. Yep. It's an organic material, so to speak. Well, it comes from the ground. Yeah, it's a natural material. 
it's not organic because it's not plant-based or animal-based. That's what the problem you have when you have smart kids that correct you all the time. But you know what I you. meant. Yes. I know what you mean. He's also clarifying for people. No, we don't put the we don't put organic matter in the clay. Ooh, no. Mm mm. Ew. That was disgusting. Uh, it was watching Time Team, which is a great resource to be listening to and kind of half watching while we're working. Um, we learned what uh was what? Iron Age? Pre Iron yeah. Age? Um, an early addition to clay to make it more workable that they use was actually dung. They didn't especially specify either whether it was animal or not because it would give it a more porous texture and would give this called quirky. It quirky. It had lots of air gaps in it. Inclusions. Inclusions. Which would burn out during the firing, which well, yeah, at first fire, it's all clean. Up until, you know, you have food particles and stuff getting sucked in the clay. In the porous. In the porous clay, which is going to grow bacteria ew. then. Ew. It's just ew all the way around. But the reason they were using it was to make it a more plastic when they were constructing ew. out of the clay. It was also for when it was and over the fire because expansion it, and contraction. It for greater which is, thermal properties. Which is something modern clay already allows for. Yes. No, you don't need to have it no, be porous no, or any inclusions in it. No. <laughs> modern clay does not need that because when the uh, um, Romans brought over the technology of adding grog to the clay, which is ground up ceramic material, which makes it more plastic and adds more structure. You didn't need to add poop to it anymore. You because you. Actually, no, that wasn't smoke. Once I can see it from this side, I okay. need to see if that's another reason for using bats to take off. Take no, I don't like to. Okay, I'm going to set this one right here for the moment because I'm going to pick no, up this guy. Make this guy smaller around. Yes, we have, if we're making a set of two, we generally make at least three. Because then, um. Oh, something happens. Do you need your sponge? No, I, I knew it was there. Sorry. Okay, good. Because I'm like, oh, I buried your sponge. My towel is very wet now. Do you need a fresh towel? Your towel's right here, but. Ew, that made a thud. Yes, yes it did. I think she is very much asleep. <laughs> I've got a scoop oh, of cat. Dear. Okay, so okay, two yes. more cup portions. That's it. And I got the cup portion from that you threw the first time up where you can see it readily. You. Good. Dry bat. Bits. <laughs> Dry bits. Now uh, picking it up off the bat. Oh. oh. We have to clean out the nail heads. Yeah. yeah. Cleaned it out not that long ago. It's got a nice earthen dam going. Yeah. That's the bottom. The oh, yeah. Oh. This is. It's up to here. It's Speaking solid up which, to there. The, the drip bucket under the wheel is just about full again. I need to, um, not right now, clearly, not with a kitten taking up one arm, but I need oh, to this one dump has both water buckets for doing it. It has hard lumps of stuff. Mm. I'm not sure whether this really is the same now. It's way the same. Oh, but I also have. That piece is this, unfriendly. Yeah, this one had it got some dry pieces of clay that okay. I didn't get out. Okay, in which case I will cut off. Which is throwing the whole thing off. Okay, in which case I'll take this forty oh, ounce piece all the way. Oh, because it's down towards the bottom. Let's see what I can do with this. It's and I will make a, a new fourteen ounce piece because I have that forty ounce piece. 
that I can cut off of. Fifteen, I just need a pinch off the corner. Oh, I can try it with the fifteen. Yeah. I can always get some off. Gotta sit back down. You are a very relaxed kitten. Yeah, because this something. It's a bowl. Well, it's gonna be a bowl. A lucky if it is a bowl, but yeah. Mm. Because it can't have a piece of hard whatever in there, and it can throw everything off. And depending on where it is, yeah, because it's it can crash uneven the piece. Off. Yeah, no, this one. Dead. He's dead. Mm -hmm. it and then there's times where there's just no polishing the poop. Yeah. Put that right there. Because when that, if it is indeed just and something. Then, and since that bat is wet, she's tossing it to, tossing it aside. Because the clay isn't going to stick. No. Does it? Kind of gets this slippery, man. Yeah. Actually, so I don't get that again. You just scrape down the wheel head. Yeah. Okay, that's not an absurd cool. What? That, that looks so cool when you're doing yeah, it. Yeah, that didn't it. <laughs> Mind you, that sound is also really something. And this one's nice and smooth. Because yeah, the bats are all different ages and they, they break down over time. There. Now she's not going to pick up dry bits of stuff off the bat. So every once in a while, that can be a problem. You can already see that that piece of clay is being a lot friendlier. There's like no. you're having to watch the throwing up on the screen because the the thrown piece sitting nearby as an example is blocking most of my view. Oh dear. And I get an irritated shifting of the feet within the sweater anytime I move. Oh dear. She is she has made herself quite comfortable, thank you. Oh that's good. Not the certain directions I try not to shift so I don't squish the game. I think that was a bigger piece of clay, Sarah. Okay. Just look. I think that was a bigger piece. I measured them off at 14 and 15. So I think six, I think it needs to be 16. Okay. Because we'll add clay to this other piece, and bring it up to 16. Not 19. 19 is way too much. Okay, this one is 16. And we'll cut this other piece, which is currently at stop rolling. Twenty-one. We'll cut it down to sixteen. There, two sixteen ounce pieces. Last piece here is another ten ounces. Okay. 
This is not even that thin. I don't know. That's why it's the best two ways it is that size. Maybe I picked up one of the other pieces. Maybe, you know? Or maybe when it was the first one, you picked up the 14 ounce for the stem and then the, the 15 ounce for the body. It's, the 15 ounce will not make the body. Sarah? I think I may have picked up one of the ones for one of the other pieces. No, because the other ones were 30. There were only 14s and 15s. Come on. Good morning. Hello. Making the, the top bowl of a chalice. Two part chalice. Two part chalice. Actually, I got told what the difference between a goblet and a chalice was years ago at a Renaissance fair by a priest. By a priest, a goblet is a, is a stemmed cup. Is a stemmed cup. A chalice is a blessed goblet. So that's the difference. One has been blessed. Yes. Choose your mine. Mine was blessed. I worked for um their booth one summer. It was the wine jellies. Yes, you you worked for um, a merchant at a fair long before you had your own business. Yeah. It was just one it was one fair. What one season? Yeah. Well we had all those wine jellies. I remember those as a kid. The little tiny jars. Yes. Too young to appreciate the flavor of them. Oh yeah. No. no. Because I was curious, so you give me a little tiny taste. This is the rose petal jelly, which was really tasty. Which was this kind of golden pink color, if I remember yeah. correctly. I remember as a kid, this, they smelled way better than they tasted. Well, at that point, they were also old. Yeah. Well, they're not that old, really. Maybe two, three years old, at most, when you're old enough to try some. Because they were... They were all sorts of fancy colors, and they were in really tiny jars. Like two and four ounce jars. And it's the, um, knowing the hard numbers as an adult versus your, vi your, remem your memories of these. But they were, you know, the yeah. little ones and the slightly bigger ones. Yeah. They were, um, Catholic, but not Roman Catholic. They were old Catholic. It was before that, you know, it was kind of like, they were interesting people. Yeah. Because it was before, it was, it was farther from the, um, future comfits. Future comfits. Cool. They sold tea and jellies. I think I remember the little baggies of tea as well. Yeah. Again. At the age where they smelled way better than they tasted. It's like, you know, kids in their first taste of coffee. Because coffee mm -hmm. smells way better than it tastes. Especially the first sip of coffee I ever got as a kid, which was Grandma's Instant Coffee. Wow. Yeah. It wasn't until I was in college that I learned the... Um, pleasures and survival um, importance of drinking coffee. It's a method to not freeze. Two more pieces and then we are done for the day. Almost at the end. I think the kitten is fully asleep. <laughs> They're getting the big slow breathing now. Yeah. And she's like completely limp inside the sweater. She doesn't want to go inside. She just wants to be warm. So, hey, look, human. Oh, that was really cute with her. Um, checking out the the spinning stuff on the wheel. Wow. 
which is the reason for the board off to the um, off to one side and the image there. It was the cat bridge. So she could hang out and watch. And not jump into the And muck. not jump in because she, her legs weren't quite long enough to bridge the gap by herself. Not comfortably. This means she should be all lovely and tranquil, but when we go inside. Such an interesting sound. Are you going to need more water since you're only halfway through the second to last piece, or are you good? Either that, or I could just stop after this one. Okay, I could. I could get the clay bag and throw that last piece in Because it's just there. one little piece, it's and I don't want to put in more water, just for one piece. Yeah. Because I have to heat the water. Mm -hmm. And I can also put the, the failed piece into the bag as well. Yeah, the piece that got something in it. Okay, well, I'll take the cat bridge out of the way there. You can actually get up. A silly thing like being able to get up. Oh, good little paws hanging down. Yeah. Like tail end. I sit back down. She's lengthening. And she relaxes. Oh, yes. She must have Cats reached are it. fluid. Cats are very, very much a fluid. And she's long enough now that I think she goes about one third around me. When she's in seatbelt mode. This one moved over there. Looks like. Are you, do you need this one as an example here? Okay. I'll move it over here. Oh, did you wake up, sweetie? I know. I'm move, I keep moving. piece for today. Probably be kind of odd um, since we'll be wanting to demonstrate the attachment of those pieces. We'll probably be out. Well, we'll check on the on how they are tomorrow. It'll probably be Monday, It'll probably be Monday with how wet it is out there. Yeah. So, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for joining us.